If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. It's just a matter of time. That's what analysts and educators tell us. But don't worry, what happened in Wisconsin is not about to go mass market yet. A small firm recently embedded microchips in their employees as a way to bypass company badges and corporate logons and to get attention for their cafeteria kiosks, which are available on a cashless payment plan like Apple Pay. Chip proponents tell us that having a chip in the hand is better than grabbing for the cell phone because you can never forget it and you can't lose it and you have the capability to communicate with machines in a way we couldn't before. Others just think that having a corporation stick a chip in this hand is kind of creepy, even if the companies say that it can track you and that your information is private. For me, it's a no, mostly because I'm concerned about what kind of health effects it might have. For those reasons, analysts we spoke to say that workers at IBM, Facebook, Federal Express, Microsoft, The Gap, and so many other corporate giants have nothing to worry about. They won't get chips soon. Consumers first, corporations second, which is why the analysts say, it's going to be a while, but you will be chipped. Progress, right? For USA Day in Los Angeles, I'm Jefferson Graham. Progress, right? You believe this guy and how they're pushing this is progress? This guy wants to make some progress. Maybe head over to a barber's shop and do something about that mop on his head. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. As most of you know, I've been covering this. Many people cover it. But recently, in the last couple of days, I've done a couple of videos this week and this month, I should say, about the microchip, about that company, 3 Squared, who is, you know, openly giving its employees the microchip. They're willingly taking the microchip. Now, this is talking about how it's expected to be a normal thing within the next 20 years. For those of you who always ask, because I know for a fact it's not coming here in the next year or two, because they always have to do it this way. It has to be conditioned in through repetition. They ease it in. Like I've said many times, you'll start seeing celebrities use it. They'll actually probably make it almost like an exclusive thing at first, right? Where only, oh, the Kardashian, like they're, you know, oh, only these elite people can have it. And then people be like, I want it, I want it, I want it. Oh, it looks so easy and so fun. And then again, with the fake cyber attacks and those things that'll occur. But this guy seems pretty excited. I guess he already knows he's got a one-way ticket to hell. Couldn't have been more thrilled for it. Oh, boy, it must be real hard for him to get his wallet out of his pants. Nonetheless, the article says you will get chipped. It's just a matter of time. In the aftermath of a Wisconsin firm embedding microchips in employees last week to ditch company badges and corporate <laughs> corporate logons, the internet has entered into full throttle debate, right? And of course it's entered into debate. This is how it starts. I'm not going to roll anything out unless there's pushback. There will be pushback, but eventually they'll convince the lukewarm, that this isn't the mark, that this is wonderful, that this is safe. We won't see people dying. We'll only see people, uh, you know, living an easier life. And then they'll make up fake stories about how people's identities are getting stolen. Right. And you heard the guy say, this is going to be, before it becomes a mandatory thing at businesses, it's going to become a mandatory thing in day-to-day -day life for regular consumers. Religions, activists, excuse me, religious activists are so appalled they've been penning nasty one-star reviews of the company Three Square Market on Google. Of course, of course, they're going to start flipping it on up, us, because we think that this is a problem and they think that this is progress because we believe it's the mark. And they're going to just go, oh, these crazy Christian fanaticals. I mean, it's all happening right in front of our faces. You just got to wonder how dumbed down can people be not to see it, right? It's not like the Bible was written uh, a week ago. And all of a sudden, oh, yeah, well, we already, I mean, think about hundreds of years ago, a thousand years ago, reading Revelation. People probably had no idea even how to comprehend the book then. If you think about it, what the mark could possibly be, because, you know, that kind of technology, it doesn't even seem fathomable. 
but we're living in this time period. We don't know the day or the hour or when, but we're in this time period where these events are happening, leading up. There's no doubt about that. So again, religious activists are appalled. They said on the flip side, seemingly everyone else wants to know, is this what real life is going to be like soon at work? Will I get chipped? It will happen to everybody, says Noel Cheesley, 49-year-old associate professor of sociology at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. But not this year and not in 2018. Maybe not my generation, but certainly that of my kids. And she seems thrilled about it. So I guess she's she's thrilled that they're doing this. She's thrilled that her children are going to willingly accept the mark. It's a big joke to all these people. Gene Munster, not sure if this person is to be confused with Thurman Munster, an investor and analyst at Loop Ventures is an advocate for augmented reality, virtual reality, and other new technologies. He thinks embedded chips in human bodies is 50 years away. He says in 10 years, Facebook, Google, Apple, and Telsa will have will not have their employees chipped. You'll see some extreme forward-looking tech people adopting it, but not large companies. But it is happening. Okay? I mean, now they're giving even con- you know contradicting stories here. They just said, in 20 years, now this person says 50. Obviously, we don't know. But we know that they're going to put this stuff out there for the push and pull. Right? The pushback. You'll start hearing, you know, people getting it. And then Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert, all these people will come out and make fun of people who get it, you know, mocking Christians being like, you're going to hell. Ha ha. And the audience will laugh. Think it's a big joke. Just a dumbed down society. It says for now, three square market or 32 M hasn't offered concrete benefits for getting chip beyond badge and log on status. Wow. It must be so hard to log on to your computer that you would need a chip. Sounds to me like it'd be a little bit more difficult. All right, getting it to swipe properly. I mean, just type it in. Is it that hard? What's the time difference? 0. 0.01 seconds. They just make it seem like, oh, it's so much more convenient. And of course, everybody's going to fall for that. They said Munzer says it was a PR stunt for the company to get attention and its product, and it certainly succeeded getting the small startup airplay on CBS, NBC, and ABC and generating headlines worldwide. The company, which sells corporate cafeteria kiosks designed to replace vending machines would like the kiosk to handle cashless transactions. This would go beyond paying with your smartphone. Instead, chipped customers should simply wave their hands in lieu of Apple pay and other mobile payment systems. You saw some of the stupid quotes in the video about, Oh, you know, the, the almost like waving your phone. Now is too difficult for these people. Do you imagine like if they had to do a paper transaction Although uh, I do have to say, I'm the kind of person every single time I do go out somewhere, this happens to me every time, I always, always pick the wrong line to check out at, wherever it is, the grocery, if I'm picking something up and there's multiple lines, I pick the wrong one, and I'm always behind somebody who's paying with a check. So at least there are still people out there who are paying with a check or exact cash with pennies as frustrating as it is to be in that line you know those people aren't looking to get chipped they won't it says the benefits don't stop there in the future consumers could zip through airport scanners sans passport or driver's license open doors start cars and operate home automation systems all of it if the technology pans out with a simple wave of a hand and that's exactly one of the reasons you see a lot of stuff especially with the airport with this bogus you know the tsa and all that stuff and how long it takes to get through customs and everything. This will be one of the ways that they manipulate people. Oh, you don't got to go through that crap anymore. I don't? No, just get the chip. I mean, there's going to be so many ways they play it off. Don't got to wait in lines, instant transaction, don't have to wait for the car to be declined, don't have to have your identity stolen. I've said all this stuff before, but just making it clear again. Now, it goes on to say it's not a GPS tracker, which is the biggest lie. You know, I mean... (laughs) They'll tell you your phone isn't a GPS tracker, even though it literally is. I mean, you could, you know, Google map a place and get directions. It says the embedded chip is out, is not a GPS tracker, which is what many critics initially feared. However, analysts believe future chips will track our every move. Of course they will. They already are now. For example, pets for years have been embedded with chips to store their name and owner 
contact information. This, of course, was part of the test to condition people to prepare them for that. All the stories you'd ever hear coming out about the pets who were microchip were just total BS fabricated stories about, you know, somebody's dog ran away from home or someone's cat and they were able to find it because it had the chip. Right. So then people get worried. They're like, oh, maybe we should. I would never want to lose my pet. I, what if someone steals him? What if he gets lost? All right. You never hear the negative effects of it. They'll always just tell you, no, there's no, no casualties. There's no, you know, diabetes or nothing has happened to the animal. You'll hear the same stuff for humans. That's for sure. It says, indeed, 32M isn't the first company to embed chips in employees in 2001. Apply Digital Solutions installed the very chip to access medical records, but the company eventually changed hands and stopped selling the chip in 2010. And Sweden Biohacks says nearly 3,000 customers have had its chip embedded to do many things, including ride the national rail system without having to show the conductor a ticket. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, it's so hard to show the conductor the ticket. What a hassle that must be. Accept the mark of the beast, eternity in hell. Because you're too lazy to grab your ticket to show the conductor when he comes by. Probably be second-guessing yourself come Judgment Day on that one. Boy, lazy society, folks. It says, after years of being subculture, the time is now for chips to be more commonly used. It says Amal Grafstra, founder of Dangerous Things. <laughs> How ironic. We're going to start to see chip implants get the same realm of acceptance as piercings and tattoos do now. There's no doubt about that. Okay, look how trendy tattoos have become. I mean, it's almost like everybody has one. I've said it before. hundred years ago, that was not occurring. It's the same thing with this. They'll talk people into it. They'll make it look cool. In other words, uh, they'll be more visible, but not mainstream yet. It becomes part of you the way a cell phone does. And that's why this technology is here. It's the middleman right now. Okay, they weren't just going to go from cash to putting a microchip in you. It's the middleman, the phone, but the phone practically is in everybody's wrist because it's in their hand 24 hours a day. It says, but what after we saw in Wisconsin last week, what's next for U.S. workforce, a nation of workers chipping into their pods at Federal Express, General Electric, IBM, Microsoft, and other top competitors? Experts contend consumers will latch onto chips before companies do. I agree with that. It just goes on to talk about and ease people's fears of it. But also, you know, by saying it's not going to be here tomorrow, don't worry about it, because they use this time period between when it comes and now to condition people with this repetition of how it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So when it comes, they're already desensitized and they're like, whatever, I've heard about this for 20 years, haven't heard any negative stories, blah, blah, blah. You'll start hearing over time, you'll start hearing the Joel Steens, the ministers on TV, the evangelical, you know, false preachers and teachers They'll be talking about this convincing Christians that this is not the mark. That is going to happen. Not yet, but soon they'll start pushing it in there. And they'll talk about how the mark is something else. We've all heard other theories about the mark. We've all heard about Sunday law, which has nothing to do with buying and selling goods. So I'm not quite sure how that fits in. But I do believe, you know, teach your own if you want to believe it's one thing or the other. Even if it wasn't, this is a technology you don't want in your body, okay, because your government's going to be tracking you around the clock worse than they do now. These chips will be able to manipulate your DNA. You know, you could research transhumanism on that. There's a lot that's going to be going down with this. So they're saying USA Today, that's where this video and this article is from, USA Today, which, you know, gets a lot of views and people, a lot of people read it and listen to it. Almost every hotel hands this magazine out outside the door, leaves it outside your door. They're letting people know it could be within 20 years, but hopefully sooner. Hey, you know, it all depends on the pushback. That's what it, that's what matters. When people push back, they can't force it because people get upset. They have to scare them into it. Crisis, bank collapse, currency collapse, identity theft, people getting money stolen because of their credit cards, all of this. So just be forewarned, I wanted to mention again after seeing that video, it really got my blood boiling, how the guy was just so excited. It's just, it's absolutely unbelievable. And of course, this video will likely be demonetized by the bots because they don't want you mentioning the mark. Even how how much you disguise the video doesn't even matter. So again, I'll leave my Patreon and PayPal below. Any help is greatly appreciated. Those of you who have already helped, it really does mean a lot to me. 
It goes a long way. It eases the anxiety that I get from, from all this stuff and then having to add that on to it as another worry. But we're going to work around it. We're going to continue to expose this stuff. I'll do my best to continue putting out good content for you. Love you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you and your families.